Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Dirt 3. Today is episode number 28. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, so today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the Trailblazer World Tour. Uh, we have four different locations that we've got to go through. So, first of all, is Finland, and we are going to be taking probably modern, mm, but classics there as well. Oh, it's a choice. I think I might actually take an Audi Quattro. We haven't taken a Quattro in a while. So we're going to do the Audi Quattro for this one first. Let's go. Right, so we are here in Finland. We are doing the first of three races here. And we are having to beat a time of 1 minute and 47 seconds. Let's go. Look at that Quattro. It just looks absolutely amazing. I love the Quattro so much. So, uh, because of me uh, recording a lot of Gran Turismo lately, um, I haven't played Dirt 3 for nearly two weeks now. It's been quite a while since I've played it, so I'm a little bit rusty, but we will try and get used to it. It's, even, it's made even worse the fact that I'm picking the most difficult discipline to record as soon as coming back. Oh! There you go. Spun out. These trailblazer ones are difficult though. Alright, let's slow it down. Nice. Perfect. We are literally looking to just beat 1 minute 37 though. Slow down, slow down, come on. Perfect. We got that corner nailed there. I'd watch out where you're running in the middle of the road. Not very safe. Well, I think we lost the time that we were supposed to aim for. But, what position? Fourth. Yeah, that's why Trailblazer is very difficult. And it's that Roland guy again. Ah, oh, he's going to be a nightmare for us, isn't he? Absolute nightmare. Right, so we are on to race number two of three. Let's do this without rolling or spinning. Off you go. Right, we are last. We're starting last. So we're going to have the most accurate times in the corner of our screen there. And off we go. So we're aiming for 39 seconds for the first section. Nice. Perfect. Oh. Nearly lost control of the car there. And we are ahead. Only just, though. Only just. Nice, nice. Keeping it close to the insides of the corners here. Perfect. Keep 
Keeping it very well under control through these sections here. Nice. Perfect. Here we go. Right, under the bridge we go in a minute. Look at that car in front. I don't even know what car that is. It looks like the Peugeot. First place though, two minutes and fifty-one seconds. Yo, amigo, post that footage on YouTube. Will do. Right, on to the next race then. Right, we now need to beat a time of one minute and thirty-six seconds. Let's do this. Go, go, go. Off you go. Right, here we go. Audi, it's your time to shine. And go. Perfect. Right, coming to the first corner here. Nice, sticking it close to the inside. Right, we've gone very slow through this section at the start. Very nice, very nice. Perfect. No! Ah, oh, we've completely cocked that up. And it's a rolling guy that's in first as well. I have a feeling we're not going to win this. Yes, yeah, sixth place. I think we've lost this round. And to be fair, I think we're going to lose every single round of the Trailblazer. But oh well. Ah, uh, sixth place. Not good. Right, let's see what that did to our final time. Fourth. Ouch. Not good. Fourth place is not a good time to be in. Um, right, let's see. What do we get? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was pointless. Right, next up then is the Kenya Trailblazer. And we're going to be doing this in modern for this one. And I'm going to be taking the... Oh, I want to take the Reese Millen. I don't think we've taken that yet. Yeah, let's take this one. We'll give this a try. Right, so we now need to beat a time of 1 minute and 43 seconds. Let's go and do this. Hopefully this Trailblazer car will uh, hold up. It looks very small and out of place. Oh, we have driven this before, I remember, because it's got the wonky side. Perfect. Get around that corner as cleanly as possible. Nice. Here we go. Perfect. We've got 
got loads of speed through that section there. Oh, careful over there. Nice, around the corner. Let's go. Perfect. Where's the finish? There it is. 1 minute 33.3. .3. I think that it was 137 target. 143. 137 was the last one. So we destroyed that target. Awesome. Right, so we need to finish without rolling and spinning to get a pass on this challenge. So let's go. Ooh. BMW Z4. Nice. Look how squashed this car looks. But look how long it is. But it's narrow. Right, so we're going to see how much speed we can carry through this track. Hopefully it will be quite a lot. Right, slow down, slow down. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very nice. Come on. Nice. Oh, slow down here. Those uh, grids seem to fling your cars up in the air for some reason. So you really do have to watch out for those. We are going way too quick as well to start a wobble. So if you start a wobble, you're probably not going to recover it. Perfect exit there. We zoom zoom up past the beamer. There we go. You see the little bump that the road gives over that grid. Awesome. Right, slow down here. Let's get around here. Nice. Come on, perfect. Whoa! That was close. First place, 3 minutes and 12 seconds. What? How are we so much faster on this, but on the other one we're not? Finland is just a difficult track by the looks of it. Right, we are now on race 3-3. Three three. we got to finish without taking any form of damage, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. I still want to get that Camaro. 
I still want that Camaro though. Right, off we go. Speed. Here we go. Around the corner, nice. Awesome. Right, slowing down for the hairpin corner. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Nice. Nicely done through that. Right, you need to slow down here. There you go, see? That's enough to throw your car off course if you go too quick. Perfect. And through the splash. Takes off a little bit of speed through there. But we're coming up to the hairpin corner again. Really wide one that we went wide last time. Perfect. Oh, that was close. The bank sort of dragged our car into it. Right, the Camaro is just up ahead. Waiting to be overtaken by the looks of it. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Coming up to the third split time. 2.25, 12 seconds fast. Two cars overtaken so far. That is decent in a trailblazer. Oh. oh, that was close. Here we go, though. Finish line. First place, 3 minutes and 12. I'm roughly... I think that's exactly the same time as the last time. I'm not even joking. But that is a very good time. We didn't get the damage thing. But that's understandable. Here we go. First place, 5,000 rep, two objectives complete, and 15 unused flashbacks. Right, that's the first place. So obviously off camera, I'm going to finish these off, make sure we get gold everything for the final episode. But next up, we are moving over to Michigan. And Michigan, I want to take the modern... Um... Oh, we have the Z4. I thought the Z4 was a DLC thing. Oh, well, we're using the Z4 for this one, then. Let's go. Right, so for this one, we need to finish without taking damage for the first race. But look at that BMW. It looks so much better than the one in Dirt 2, if you want to go back and check that out. Because Dirt 2, honestly, was such a good game. Um, personally, for me, I prefer Dirt 2 to Dirt 3. Um, but Dirt 3 is still a very good game. Oh my gosh, this is quick. Oh, why was I not expecting it to be this quick, though? Oh, 
full serve. Alright, so we're looking at a 28.432 for our initial split. Right, now is our time where we get speed. Right, we've got a corner, so slow down for that. Went very wide there. Probably could have tucked it closer to the inside, but a bit late now. Nice, nice, nice. 1 minute 8.96. It's a very good time. Oh! No! Get in, get in, get in! No! Get through! Bugger! Ah, oh, how much time did we lose then? We probably could have come first anyways. Oh, no. Oh, that is gutted. Oh, right, on to the next one. Right, for this we're reaching a speed of 125 miles an hour as our target. Let's do it. We can do this. Off goes the Ford Fiesta. And in comes the Beamer. Go, go, go. Zim, zima, ima, bima. And we've hit the wall already. Great. Right, it is dark, so it's going to be a little bit more challenging for us. Oh, we went wide there. Not great. We do have quite a lot of challenges we have to redo. Um, ones that we didn't get first place on. Um, I think I've got about six or seven championships. There's the challenge done. But I think I've got six or seven. Jesus. Brakes didn't work. Uh, six or seven championships I've got to redo. So, looking forward to that. Nice, nice. Right, slow down, slow down. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh! How are we messing up so bad? It is difficult in the dark to actually see where you're supposed to be going. And especially with Trailblazer when you don't have verbal directions. The minimap isn't enough. It's not enough to judge the terrain. Come on. Fourth place. I don't like this BMW that much. It's not very good at nighttime driving. AKA, I'm not good at nighttime driving. The minimap is too high up. It's too high. Why is it so far upwards? Then it throws me off, and then I look for too long. We have messed this championship up big time.
Here's the finish line, and I even mess up the finish! Ah! Last. Stone dead last. I'm not even looking at the scores. Let's just keep moving. Let's get this finished. Right, so for this one, we need to be in time of 1 minute and 29 seconds. I'm glad this is a short stage. Because then we can move on to the next one and forget any of this ever happened. And off we go. Right, nice. Oh my gosh, look how nice this looks in daytime. They hid all this beauty in darkness for the last race. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow. Perfect. Final corner. Third. We still didn't even come first, and that was the quickest run we have probably done. The amount of speed that we carried through those corners. That was ridiculous. Terrible. Just terrible. Right. On that sad note, time to move on to the next championship. We got 15 unused flashbacks, two objectives, you know, typical, typical failure there. But final, the final one is the Norway Trailblazer. And this is much shorter than the last one, actually. Um, so we're going to take, are we going to take Classic? We could take the Toyota. Toyota's quite nice. Yeah, let's take the Toyota. Right, so we are here on race one. We need to reach a speed of 117 miles an hour. Hopefully, we can show everyone else how it's done in this Toyota, whatever it was called. I've forgotten already. Let's go. Right. And we're off. Perfect. I am excited to see... Um, the Aerial Nomad in Dirt 5. That is going to be exciting to drive. Awesome. Here we go. Slow in, slow in. Perfect. Nice. Forty seven point one, good. Oh, over the track there. And we hit the one seventeen miles an hour as well. Awesome. Trying to keep this car under control is a bit of a challenge. But it's a challenge I'm accepting very well here. Total concentration going through this section. Oh! I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that finish. We didn't really make it over the line, but I'll take it. We passed. Right, so we now need to finish without rolling or spinning. Let's go. Ah, oh, look at that quattro. 
but we are in a Toyota, which is seems to be faster than the uh, Quattro ever was, interestingly enough. Right, but we are taking speed to the next level right now. Perfect. A oh, bit too close to the inside there. We need to stay away from these soft verges at the edges. Oh, we got two cars we can overtake up ahead. Let's do this. Car number one is the Quattro. Oh, did it with a lag. Not nice. Oh, the Quattro actually overtook this car. This is a T16 Pikes Peak car. Alright, let's try and get through this bit safely first. And then overtake the both of them in one go. Oh, crazy. Absolute madness through that section there. Oh, lag spikes again. Why is that happening? I'm on a 1X. I'm on the Xbox One X for this. Obviously, backwards compatible game. But why is there lag spikes like that? Perfect. Right, under the bridge. Nice. That was a really good corner from there, out of that jump. Those two cars have been stuck towards my rear end for quite a while now. Like Spike again. Great. That is epic. Look at that. <laughs> that was the most epic finish I have ever seen. Right, on to the next race. Right, we now need to finish this event without rolling or spinning. Let's go. If uh, the finish of the last one was anything to go by, uh, I have a feeling we are going to spin. Guaranteed. Right, let's do this. Nighttime driving is always a challenge, so we got to try and keep it as under control as possible. Perfect, right. Whoa, okay, close. Right, past the first split with 1.237 seconds ahead. We lost a lot of speed just through that corner there, so we'll be further behind now. Perfect. Down there. Still ahead, but only 0 0.4 seconds ahead now. But based on the last round, which was 10 seconds ahead, I feel like we've got enough time to lose. So if we didn't come first, it's not the end of the world.
Oh, that was the finish. That was quick. I wasn't expecting it to be that short. Jesus. Right, 1 minute 33. Yes, we were about 4 seconds ahead. Nicely done. Time to finish off with the Toyota and uh, we are then going on to a drift challenge. We've got one drift challenge to do. Uh, it is right at the end. There we go. Drift showcase in Michigan. We're going to be taking an Evo X rallycross car. Right, so we need to get 8,000 points to pass. Let's go. Oh, I've just noticed this is a completely carbon fiber car. And it looks amazing. Nicely done there. Oh. A little bit of contact through that section, through the satellite array. Around the hairpin there. You know what? We have 50 seconds. Can I go backwards this way? Yes, we can. No! Oh! Ah, so it looks like we got across the finish line with gold. Oh well. We were so close to getting platinum, but the game knows our tactics. The game knows our tactics. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And if you want to join our Discord, where we're going to be discussing a lot about the upcoming Dirt 5 release, then make sure to click that link down in the description down below. And there's a load of other social links there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.